not sure if you saw this video of this driver that gave chase um, and he had two Uber passengers in the back and they were literally fearing for their lives. He was in Richmond, Virginia. He says, let us out, brother. Hit a car, rushing down the middle of these streets. He begged him to stop. Dialed 911. Tell the driver you need to stop. He's not stopping. Skipping red lights. Tell him that he needs to stop. Get a car. Driver finally stopped after repeated pleas from the passengers and the 911 operator. This driver behavior is concerning and we have removed him from the platform. That's the driver there. And my friends, I just pray and hope this never happens to you. Uh, road rage, I've seen it here in LA, it's crazy. Um, this guy had a beef with another car and he gave chase. He completely ignored the people in the back, just kept on going, um, could have ended in a fatality. They actually hit cars. He skipped several lights. So, um, I mean, what do you do in a case like this, right? I guess if you have the very first opportunity to get out, uh, get out. You know, if he's forced to a slow stop, I mean, even if you have to at five miles an hour jump out of the car, because hitting a car in an intersection can lead to fatalities. So it's easier said than done. Uh, they handled it very well by calling 911 and holding it up directly to him so that the guy knew he's in trouble. And thank God he eventually gave up. But um, he has several cases filed against him. You know, firstly, he abducted those passengers against their will and multiple traffic violations and i'm sure it's not going to end very well for that uber driver and again please be safe drivers as well as passengers and don't take the bait even if you want to lose con lose your control and get into a rage it's completely not worth it